Hi everyone, I'm Sinead and welcome to Pilates at Home Sessions. Today all you need is yourself, a mat and if you're lucky, a quiet space. We're going to start off seated today. So come to the end of your mat, make sure you've got lots of mat to roll back onto. Knees and feet hip distance apart, hands to the backs of the legs. Inhale through the nose, bring your shoulders up to your ears and exhale, roll the shoulders up, back and down. Finding your tall or straight spine, so your shoulders are stacked over your hips. Think of lengthening through that mid spine, through the rib cage, chest is open. Breathe in through the nose as you drop off your sit bones, feel that unsteady feeling. And exhale out through the mouth as that HA sound come up tall, lift the chin. <sighs> Breathe in, pull back with the belly button. Noticing how you're dropping off the bony bits on your bum, your sit bones. And exhale, bring it up, nice and tall. <sighs> Let go, palms facing up, inhale, pull back. Your hips and your rib cage are coming closer together. And as you come up, they're moving further apart. So inhale, dropping down. And exhale out through the mouth. <sighs> tall, straight spine. As you drop back, flexion or rounding of that lower spine and exhale. One more time, breathe in, pull back with the belly button and exhale. Bring it up, hands to the backs of the legs again. We're going to lift the feet up, notice that unsteady feeling and engage through the core, pull with the hands to open through the chest and get your feet in or Pilates V. So feet in Pilates V, knees are in a, a right angle, open through the chest and just hold here, three breath cycles, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Squeezing through those heels, inhale and exhale. Last one, breathe in and breathe out. You're gonna add a roll. No movement in the angle in the legs. Inhale, rock back. Exhale, bring it up and balance. Breathe in, roll back and exhale. So you're already gonna notice if your legs are helping you up or you're using your tummy muscles and your breath. Breathe in, roll back and exhale. Easier version, just do the normal rolling back. You can have your heels in closer to your hips or your bum. Breathe in, roll, and breathe out. Last time, warming up through the spine and using your breath. Now, widen the legs out, so think hip distance apart. You're gonna inhale, straighten through that right leg, half teaser, exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten through the left leg, and exhale, bend. Try the two legs, breathe in and breathe out. So your inhale straightening through the right leg, exhale bend, inhale through the left leg. Feel the tension in the arms, two legs out, press your hamstrings into your hands. Last time, breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> inhale left leg and exhale bend, two legs up and exhale. Feet come to the floor, hands behind the hips, move the bum back if you need to. Spread through the fingers, we're going to lift that chest, lift the hips. Knees, feet, hip distance apart. Breathe in, lift through the hips, look down the middle line of the body and exhale, lower down with control. Breathing in, we lift up and breathe out. Inhale, lift up, squeeze the shoulder blades together and exhale, lower back down. Two more, breathe in, lift and breathe out, lower. Last time, breathe in, lift up and breathe out, lower down. Stretch out through your two legs for the roll up now. Make sure you've got lots of mat to roll back onto. Find your tall spine, palms facing up, flexion or rounding of the spine, reach forward. Inhale, exhale, roll down onto the mat. Allow the legs to slide, breathe in, palms up, arms up and over, feel the length in the body. Exhale, bring it up. <sighs> Inhale, we look up, reach up. Your tall spine or your straight spine. Exhale, roll down. <sighs> Breathe in, arms up and over, palms facing up. Exhale, bring it up, palms in towards each other as you bring it up. Inhale, palms up towards the ceiling again. So you're getting some movement into the shoulders as well. We're sneaking it in. Breathe in, palms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, palms facing each other, bring it up. Inhale, reach up towards or reach towards your feet. And exhale, we roll down onto the mat. Breathe in, palms up. And exhale, bring it up, straight up towards the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, palms up, roll down. Breathe in, arms up, palms up. And exhale, back up towards the ceiling. <sighs> Breathe in, find length. Exhale, roll down onto the mat. Breathe in, arms up and over. We're gonna reach towards our feet again. Exhale. <sighs> 
Breathe in, reach towards your feet, rounding or flexion of the spine. Exhale, roll down onto the mat, squeeze through the thighs. Breathe in, palms up towards the ceiling. And exhale, you use the breath. <sighs> Breathe in, reach towards your feet. And exhale, roll down onto the mat. Inhale, arms up and over. And exhale, use the breath. We're gonna do two with a straighter, tall spine. And then we're gonna move on. Exhale, <sighs> breathe in, arms up and over. And exhale, use the breath. Last time, breathe in, breathe out. You're controlling with your tummy and your breath, anchoring with the legs. And bring it all the way up to the start. Hands beside your hips, spread through the fingers and just focus on that tall spine, open through the chest. Inhale, lift through the chin and breathe. Exhale out and relax through the head. Coming into a kneeling position now, you're going to bring your knees hip distance apart with the big toes together. Notice as when you squeeze your big toes together, your glutes to your bum engages. Cross the arms over your chest, relax through the shoulders, open. Now squeeze your bum cheeks, try and close the gap between your ribs and your hips. So that slight posterior pelvic tilt where you're flattening or a slight rounding in the lower back into your spine twist. So breathe in, you're twisting to the right. You're only moving from that waist area. Exhale back through the center. Keep squeezing those big toes together. Inhale, twist to the left. Wringing out your waist as if it were a cloth. Breathe in, twist to the right. Notice if the knees or the feet are moving, that means the lower part of your body is moving. Engage more through the core if it is. And try and isolate as much as you possibly can through that waist area. It's very tempting to turn the head so you want to keep the head still. It's just coming along with you. Breathe in, twist, and breathe out. It looks like a very simple Pilates exercise, but it's actually one of the harder ones to do. You have to concentrate. Squeeze the big toes together. Your nose is in line with your breastbone. Breathe in, twist. Exhale, back through the center. Breathe in, twist to the left. And breathe out, back through the center. Last time, inhale and breathe out. Don't let those shoulders rise as you breathe in and breathe out back through the center. You're gonna reach your arms out in front of you now, spread through the fingers, trying to separate through the fingers as much as you possibly can. Engage through the core again. Inhale, push away with the hands. So your shoulder blades are moving further apart. Exhale, you pull the shoulders back or the shoulder blades joining together. Inhale, push away. No bend in the elbows. Exhale, pull back. So protraction of the shoulders or the shoulder blades. Exhale, retraction. They're joining or squeezing together. Inhale, push away. Exhale, pull back. Inhale and exhale. Last time, breathe in and breathe out. Now you're gonna lower the fingertips onto the floor here and press into the fingertips until they go white. So you're putting some pressure, unless you have any problems with your wrists or your hands. You're strengthening through the wrists. So even just in this position or from this position, think of squeezing the base of your thumb and the base of your little finger closer together. So the base of your thumb is your thener, the base of your little finger is your hypothener. And these muscles, by squeezing them together or closer together, you're strengthening through the wrists. So at the same time as pushing into those fingertips, kind of putting a little bit of a squeeze between the base of the thumb and the little finger. Inhale and exhale out. Last time, breathe in and breathe out. Push off the fingertips. Arms extend them out in front again. Open and close your fists as quickly or as fast as you can. As if you're flicking water away with your fingertips, you'll feel it in the forearms, the wrists, the hands, and you'll get tired pretty quickly. So squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Last time. And then place the hands down on the floor. So press into the thumb, the little finger. Try and lift those three middle fingers up off the floor. Press into the thumb, the little finger, and then spread the three, little, or three middle fingers down. Get your Spider-Man or your suction grip. Slight push of the hands, protraction of the shoulder blades, retraction, drop down, breathe in and breathe out. So lots of ways of doing this exercise. Getting to know parts of your upper back here, 
So your shoulder blades, inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out. One more time, inhale, exhale. Now, relax through the elbows. Bend your elbows out just a little bit and then push into them. Try and spin the insides of your elbows forward as you push up. So inhale, you're bending the elbows, not all the way down as if you're doing a press up, and then spin the insides of the elbows forward. Breathe in, you're bending. Press into the thumb and the base of the thumb, especially here. And then exhale, spin the elbows forward or the insides of the elbows forward. Breathing in, bend, and exhale. Two more times, breathe in, bend, and breathe out. Last time, breathe in, and breathe out. Lower down onto your elbows and your forearms now. Relax through the hands, maybe open and close them a few times, and then gently place them on the floor. Knees and feet are hip distance apart. You're gonna lift your right leg into a reverse tabletop, point through the toes. Inhale, lift up, feel it in the glutes. Exhale, just lower down. Breathe in, lift, and exhale, lower. Breathe in, lift up. Exhale, breathe in, lift, and exhale one more time like this. Breathe in and breathe out. We're gonna to add to it. So inhale, lift through the chest as you bring the foot higher. Exhale, you round. Bring your knee in towards your face. Flexion or rounding of the spine. Breathe in, lift the chest, lift the chin. Exhale, <sighs> squeezing through those tummy muscles. Breathe in, open and breathe out. <sighs> Two more on this side. Breathe in, lift and breathe out. One more, breathe in, lift, and breathe out. Place that right knee in line with your right hip. Move the body weight from side to side. So right to left. Maybe move the head from side to side, get rid of any clicks or cricks in the neck. Back to center, left leg comes into that reverse tabletop or right angle. So you're gonna inhale, lift up, Exhale, release, breathe in, lift, point through the toes. The same bend in the knee throughout. Inhale and exhale, <sighs> breathe in and breathe out. Last time like this, breathe in and breathe out. Adding to it, inhale, lift through the chin and the chest. Exhale, round, tuck the chin, knee towards your face. Inhale, lift and exhale. <sighs> Three more, breathe in, lift and exhale, two more, breathe in, and breathe out, last one, inhale, and exhale, leave that left knee down on the floor, push into the forearm so you can come back up onto your hands, make or uh, widen the gap between your knees and your feet and your hands, just bring them forward, spread through the fingers, you're going to inhale, bring your hips down towards your right heel, your left heel, your left shoulder, your right shoulder. And then start to move through the head, if you want, through the spine. So you're circling around as if no one's watching you, getting movement into the entire body. And then change direction. So go the opposite way. Hips to the left again. You can move through the head or through the back, rounding and releasing. Back through the center, left shoulder, right hip, or left hip, right hip, right shoulder. Last time, and then come back through the middle. So you're gonna lower down onto your belly now. Slide the knees back, bend the elbows, bring it down. Arms as wide as your mass, maybe even a little wider if you're broad. So press the front of the feet into the floor or into the mat. Feel the kneecaps lift, hips, pubic bone glued to the floor. Inhale, we lift up, so chest and head only. The palms are facing in towards each other. So again, you're using parts of your hands and your forearms here. So pressing into the little fingers, you'll feel that engagement in your shoulder blades. Breathing in, we lift up. And exhale, we lower back down. Breathe in, lift up, moving from the thoracic or the mid-spine, exhale, lower. Last two like this, breathe in and breathe out. One more, breathe in, lift and exhale, lower down. So adding to it, right arm, left leg, lift. So straight leg, 
the arm lifts the way it does and breathe out lower so swimming breathe in we lift notice how my hip bones are not lifting up off the floor so there's no rotation in the hips breathe in and breathe out breathe in lift the head is naturally coming with you and exhale lower down breathe in lift up and exhale lower back down breathe in lift left arm right leg and exhale lower any lower back problems you can leave the forehead or the nose on the floor and don't lift as high breathe in lift up and exhale lower back down breathe in lift and breathe out lower down inhale lift up and exhale lower last time breathe in right arm left leg exhale bring it back and then left arm right leg exhale bring it back two hands stack them out in front rest your forehead down we're just going to move from the lower part of your body so training the hips and the pelvis to stay completely stable or steady point through the toes lift the two legs and swim as fast as you can with straight legs breathe in breathe out breathe in and breathe out so you're stabilizing from the pelvis and you're working the backs of your legs here so feel it in the glutes the hamstrings you're also going to feel it in the calves when you point your toes and a little bit in the lower back but not in a bad way option here to lift through the head and the chest inhale exhale so adding stabilization of the shoulders inhale exhale <sighs> breathe in through the nose Breathe out through the mouth, engage through the core. So pull that belly button in, inhale, exhale out. Last time, breathe in and breathe out and relax. Forehead to your um, hands and then gently rock from side to side. Coming down onto your right side now, bend your right elbow underneath your head, create a pillow and bend through that right knee. The hip bones are in line and your left hand is on your left hip. So take a hold of that left side. Breathe in, we point and lift with that left leg. Exhale, we flex and lower down. Breathe in, you point and lift, opening up through the right hip or the left hip. Inhale, point and lift and exhale, lower down. The movement is smooth. Inhale, lift and exhale flex breathe in squeeze the toes together and as you flex try and separate through the toes breathing in point and lift relax through that left shoulder exhale flex and lower down breathe in point and breathe out bring it down keep the hips in line inhale squeeze exhale separate and lower down two more breathe in and breathe out last time breathe in point and lift and exhale, flex and lower. Bend that left knee forward, bring it out in front of your waist. Try and pull back through the left hip as you do and straighten out through that right leg. Flex the right foot, we're gonna lift and lower down. Breathe in, lift up, feel it in the inner thigh, also in the obliques on the left side. Exhale, flex and lower. Breathe in, lift up, keep the foot flexed. Feel it in the calf, breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, lift up, exhale. Breathe in, lift, and breathe out, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Last two, breathe in, and breathe out. One more time, breathe in, and breathe out. We're gonna stack the two legs now. Lengthen through that right arm. Rest the ear on the right bicep. Lift the two legs up. A couple of centimeters, lift from the side of the waist, point through the toes now. You're going to kick back twice, pulsing, and then forward. Now you may feel a bit unsteady here or off balance. You can always place the left hand out in front or fingers out in front to steady yourself. It's more important that the hip bones stay in line than keeping that left hand on your hip. No bend in the knees. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Keep it going, inhale and exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Working on your balance, on the legs, on the hips. Inhale, exhale. Last two breath cycles and one more. 
Now, you're going to lower the two legs, slide them forward, stack the legs, the ankles, and knees, the hips. Slide forward with that right arm, place your right hand on your right hip. We're going to fold up into a side teaser position. So breathe in to prepare. As you exhale, you fold up, reach towards your feet, and then inhale, lower down with control. You may have to play around with that bottom arm so that you can come up comfortably enough onto your forearm and your elbow. Exhale. Squeeze through the obliques, the side tummy muscles. Breathe out as you come up. Inhale as you lower down. Breathe out. And inhale. Breathe out. Come up. And inhale. Lower down with control. Breathe out. Come up. Squeeze through the tummy muscles. Inhale. Lower down. Last two. Breathe out. And inhale. This time hold the position. Exhale. Reach. Now reach back with that top arm. Inhale. Exhale, bring the hand back to the legs. Breathe in, open, and breathe out. <sighs> Try one more. If your legs are tired, bend the knees. And then back to the start, and rest. You're gonna bend your right elbow underneath your head, bend through that right knee again, take hold of your left foot, pull the heel to the bum, bend the elbow behind as well, release through that left shoulder, breathe into the quad. <sighs> Exhale out. <sighs> Two more breath cycles here, and breathe out. <sighs> One more time, inhale and exhale. You're gonna squeeze the thighs together. If you can, left palm facing up, take hold of the inside or the arch of the foot from the inside and pull your left heel towards the outside of the left hip. Use the arms, breathe into it. Exhale out, feel the stretch going to the outside of the quads. Exhale out, one more deep breath in and breathe out, let go. Coming onto your left side now, make a pillow for your head, so you're bending the left elbow, bend through the left knee, top leg or right leg is straight with your right hand on your hip. Point through the toes, you're going to breathe in, lift up, exhale, flex and lower down. Add that squeeze of the toes as you breathe in, lift, and then trying to separate the toes as you bring it down. The hips stay stacked and exhale, lower down. So working through that right hip, also your obliques, your side tummy muscles, breathe in, we point and lift. Exhale, we flex and lower down. Breathe in, we point and lift. Relax through the right shoulder. Exhale, flex and lower. Inhale and breathe out. Inhale, point and lift. And exhale, flex and lower down. Inhale, point and exhale. Two more, breathe in, point and lift. And exhale, flex and lower. Last time, breathe in, point and lift and exhale, flex and lower. So you're gonna bend that right knee out in front, keep the hips in line if you can, so pull back with that right hip and point through, or sorry, flex through that left foot. So you're inhaling, lifting through that left leg, exhale, lower down. So feel it in the inner thigh of the left side, also your obliques on your right side, exhale. Breathe in, lift up, and exhale, lower down. Breathe in, we lift, and exhale, we lower down. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, inhale, lift up, and breathe out, lower down. Breathe in, lift up, and breathe out, lower down. Inhale, lift, and exhale. Last time, breathe in, we lift up, and breathe out, bring it back. Two legs stacked now, straighten through that left arm, rest your ear onto your bicep, lift the two legs up. If you need, you can place that right hand out in front, point through the toes, we kick forward, pulsing twice, and then kick back in and out. So trying to release any tension through that right shoulder or let go of any tension and the neck and keep those hip bones in line. You're working on your balance, your hips, your legs. Inhale, exhale, breathe in and breathe out. Your core engagement and your breathing into the rib cage. Inhale, exhale, breathe in and breathe out. Last one, inhale and exhale lower down through the legs slide the legs forward for your half teaser so you're going to slide that left arm out in front as well top hand is on your side deep breath in to prepare exhale push up reach towards the heels inhale lower down with control breathe out as we come up inhale as we lower down with control breathe out fold and inhale lower down breathe out fold up and inhale lower down breathe out fold squeeze through the thighs inhale lower down with control breathe out fold up 
and inhale. Last two, and we're gonna hold it. So breathe out and breathe in. One more time, hold the position. Squeeze here, next breath in, you reach back. Find your legs with that right arm. Inhale and breathe out. Last time, breathe in, bend the knees if your legs are tired. Bring it back and lower down. Bending through that left elbow, bend through the left knee. Take hold of your right foot with your right hand from the outside of the foot. Pull the heel to the bum, feel a stretch in the front of the leg, the hip flexors. Bend through that right elbow, relax through the right shoulder. Legs close enough together if you can. Relax into the stretch, breathe into the quads. Now keep the legs close enough together. You're gonna to flip that right palm, take hold of the arch of the foot from the inside and pull the heel to the outside of that right hip. Squeeze the thighs together if you can, feel the stretch going to the outside of the quads. Still a bit in the hip flexors. And let go. Thank you for doing Pilates with me today. I hope you enjoyed the session. Um, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done already. Maybe leave a comment or a like. Thank you.